today's tinker day with the uh, Ozark 250. Got the seat off and got it propped up. But uh, didn't get much seat time on it this winter. The one day we come out and put the uh, enricher on, the choke lever here. And uh, you can see it only goes so far. I got pretty aggressive and pushed down on it really hard and snapped it right off. So ended up picking up and replace it one on eBay for about $16. And uh, took the, uh, the choke lever off of it. And just, uh, it was an easy, easy fix. Popped her up there, two screws. This uh, housing pulls apart, the lever slides out. Insert the knob and the cable and you're done. But the real issue is down in here. Hopefully you can see it. I used a 12 millimeter socket and loosened off the little enricher cable here. And you see the spring. Hopefully you can see the spring back in there. And uh, the plunger stuck. Well, I started spraying WD-40 in there with no luck. So I bought some PB Blast and. I was thinking it was meant peanut butter blast, but uh, it doesn't. And uh, it's been sitting there for about an hour now, and she's still stuck really good. So I think I'm going to apply some heat to it. I really don't want to pull the carb off this thing. Uh, I'd really rather not mess with it. It runs great when it is running. And uh, hopefully a little bit of heat and some elbow grease. I can pop this sucker right out. We'll do a quick cleanup and put it back together and uh, hopefully it's functioning fine without replacing that cable. I really don't want to put a torch under there because I don't want to melt possibly any of the rubber fixtures, but you can see the back of the carb here. I'm just going to apply a little bit of heat to the area where the, um, where the plunger sits, and that's right in there, and uh, see if I can't maybe heat that up enough that it'll cause the plunger to loosen up in there and now I'll be able to pull it out without any problems so I'm just going to turn this on high Let's see if I can work that plunger in with a small screwdriver no it's stuck in there good online that you can sometimes get in there and twist it but it's not moving at all I think I'm getting it to move a bit this could be a good thing I'm pushing in with this little screwdriver and it's out Ha ha! Bingo! Got it! Perfect! Look at that, right down the chute. Love it. So I'll clean that all up. I'll clean this all up. I'm going to take that off the cable, show you guys how to do that. Put it up on the bench and uh, reassemble and hopefully we have an enricher that works. That's great news. Didn't have to pull the carb out. I was just about ready to do that. And, uh, but we lucked out, got the enricher out and albeit dirty, it looks like it's in good shape. So stay tuned. Yeah. The, uh, the plunger off the end, you can see I've got it turned here. You just pull the spring back. I can do it with one hand actually. And you just pop that knob off. And there's the plunger in my hands. I'm just going to use some some uh, just regular disc brake cleaner and uh, just clean some of the the deposits you can see on there up off of this thing. I don't know that there's enough to worry about taking a wire brush to it or whether that's even safe to take a wire brush to it. Okay so Let's go back. I'm going to blow some cleaner into the carb and we'll uh, reassemble this thing with lots of oil. Okay, I'm going to use some more uh, PB blaster in the hole instead of the brake clean because I don't know if there's any rubber I should be worried about in there. But now with that plunger out of the way, I'll get her right in there. 
spray it up good. This little screwdriver again, put it around my t-shirt. Just kind of stick it in the hole where I can get at. And then I'm going to blow some compressed air in there. I think that'll be do, do the trick. It'll take any chunks out, I think, that, that might be in there causing me the headaches. Try this smaller screwdriver, see if I can get right in the tip. Because again, the whole idea here is for not for Mr. Gary to screw things up worse than they already are. Okay. That looks good. Nice and clean, I think. See if I can look in that place. Oh, it actually does look like there's some deposits still in there. I wonder if I can pick those out. I can see around where the little needle fits in and I can see little pieces of crud. Oh yeah, there it goes. That's coming right out now. Like a dentist cleaning up the plaque on the old Ozark. Yeah, nice, clean. Unlike anything else on the bike, that's at least clean. We're going to reassemble this thing, put the uh, plastic retaining nut on, slide the spring over the end. And then pull a, pull a spring back a bit. And then let the spring ride rest back on the shoulder. Make sure it's on the shoulder of that plunger or else it's going to, uh, it could fall off again. We'll get a little bit of oil on here. Looks like it's got a good coating of oil on there. Let's, uh, Slide that back into the little hole there. Oh yeah, pops right back in. Just good and snug. Let's just see if we got some leverage and bingo. Works great. Nice.